Nestled beside the Veterans Expressway just off of George Road in Tampa, Florida is Skyway Park. Every Saturday in the fall, this is where you can hear the sounds of coaches and proud parents yelling, cheerleaders chanting, and piercing referee whistles as the youth of Tampa Bay gather to do battle in the great game, American football. They play for their friends, they play for their neighborhood, they play for bragging rights. This year, they'll be playing for much more. A number one draft pick is at stake. Members of the Red Top Fantasy Football League will hinge their hopes to the arms and legs of seven to 14 year old kids, relying on these youngsters to land them a top draft choice and the chance to nab one of the NFL's elite talents and fulfill their dreams of hoisting the glorious iron chair up high and being crowned the champion. And now, our feature presentation. Oh man, that video just gave me chills. And welcome to the Less Is More Show. All right guys, we have a great show for you tonight. We're gonna talk about the 2017-2018 Red Top Fantasy Football Draft. All right, guys, I also want to talk to you about a recap of last season. All right, now we have some rivals. We have the Lou Bull, we have the Brother Bulls. All right, and now we also want to talk about our champion from last season, Alex Delgado. All right, and the train wreck of a season, George Lepanty had. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually have a moment of silence for that. All right, that's enough, dude. Don't ever fuck up again. All right, so look, dude. You know, that punishment that we had for you last year, not our best work, okay? So next year, shy guy, be on the lookout. All right, guys, let's get into how we're gonna select our draft order, okay? We have 38 youth football teams from Tampa, and we also have each member be assigned a team, okay? The teams will be ranked by scoring, and the team with the most points will have the number one pick in the draft. All right, let's get fucking started. All right, so our first member that we're gonna select. All right, as long as it's not fucking Alex. Oh, fuck, shit, it's Lust. All right, good job. All right, let's get the wheels cranking. Wheels of motion. Wheels of change. All right, so Lust is gonna have the Panthers, Pee Wee. All right. Good job, Les. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get a new name and a bowl. All right, we got Lewis here. Now, it's not the real Lou, so I'm assuming it's fake Lou. All right, y'all know what that means. All right, let's see what pathetic thing Lou, <laughs> fake Lou is gonna come up with. All right. So fake Lou gets the Jaguar midgets. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> All right, let's see who else we're gonna go here. All right, we got George the Pansy coming up again. All right, so George the Pansy. Let's get the wheels of destiny turning. All right, George the Pansy comes up with Ravens midget. All right, George, don't get mad at me, man. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, we got Jacob, all right? <sighs> One of these guys that never makes the playoffs. We appreciate your donation. All right, what team does Lewis, Lewis, Jacob get? He gets <laughs> Dolphins, super midget. Makes sense. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, I dropped the name here. Hold on. I dropped my mic here. Cut, 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 cut. Hey, sorry about that, guys, but let's get right back into the show. All right, so next up, we got Pedro the Barber. All right, hair and makeup. All right, so Pedro gets the Saints, Pee Wee. All right, cool. All right, following up, we have Tito, all right? Tito, I don't remember his season, so I'm assuming it was crap. 
All right, but I'm gonna go ahead and hook you up because I'm gonna spin you around a little bit, see what we got here. All right, you know what? That ain't spinning that much, so let's go up here. All right, we got Packers, Pee Wee. All right, keep it on moving. All right, so following up, we have Gabe. And Gabe, our, our producer, our director. Let's see what we got for Gabe. All right, Gabe, we have Bucks, Fart City. All right, guys, cool. And then, um, hold on, I'm getting something here. Okay, all right. Look, guys, looks like we're gonna have a special guest joining us for this, uh, the rest of the evening. All right, so let's go on and get it in. Yep, okay, so we got, looks like we got Dan, the commissioner, coming up here, all right? Hey guys, I'm here with uh, Commissioner Dan, the guy you love to freaking hate. This is the guy that makes all the rules and the rule changes to our fantasy football league. Okay, so this is a chance for Dan to defend himself. All right, so let's see what he has to say when he really gets hard, asked the hard questions. So, Dan, okay, first of all, how do you feel about all these rivals in the league right now? We know we have the, the um, Battle of the Lose. We have the Bastard Bull or the Brother Bull, all right? So That's how do you feel about one. these rivals in the league? Well, I think it's great for the league. All know, right. It builds that, uh, that competitive nature. Uh, it builds the, uh, you know, the, the hatred. It builds, you know, something, it gives us something to look forward to, you know? And uh, I think it, uh, it makes it a little more exciting, something to look forward to every week. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, definitely agree, definitely agree. Okay, so you know what? You did some interesting things this year in the league. You know what? You actually um, asked everybody in a survey question about some of the things that they had some gripes with. Um, can you actually talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was, it was something I was really excited about mm -hmm. as far as getting everybody participating and acting, mm -hmm. feeling like they were a part of how we, how we do things. Okay. You know, the point structure, um, how we build our league together, because it is our league. Mm -hmm. You know, I may be the commissioner, but it is our league. So what were some of the questions that you had in that survey that you felt was really important to the league? Well, I mean, it's a really good question. Mm -hmm. I think they're all important, but I think uh, if I had to pick one. Yes. Man, I don't know. PPR was pretty controversial. PPR was controversial. Point five versus mm -hmm. one point. So, I mean, some people sound a big deal. One of the some ones I was live, really, I really interested in was the, um, the cost to buy in. Oh, All of right? course, I mean. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, me, myself, I thought we should increase the loan, the buy-in to the league. $100? Yeah, $100. So I sorry. mean, I thought that was fair, <laughs> but um, some of the people wanted to keep it a little bit lower. I mean. I mean, we have, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. We have some league members having babies. Yeah, of course. Pedro, uh, yeah, Pedro. Yeah, Pedro. Um, you know, people, uh, you know, moving expenses, Tyler. Um, you know, people just with their lives going on. So it's understandable. Um, I think that the other things that we have in this league kind of make up for that. You know, even though there's not as large of a monetary reward as maybe some other leagues, mm -hmm. we have, you know, the camaraderie, the competitiveness, the rivalries, the friendships, you know. We have everything else that kind of supersedes that, you know. So um, what do you think about the shy guy? The punishment, I mean, like, what do you think the shy guy punishment and how do you think last season went when we did that? It was fun. I mean, the shy guys, it's always fun punishing, you know, the last place guy, the mm -hmm. loser of the league. Um, I think we're always looking to continuously improve everything. So maybe it's not like what we intended. Maybe it didn't come out exactly how we uh, planned or how we imagined it, all of us. But I think we still, I mean, I still had a great time. Um, shy guy maybe didn't have a good time, but I think... Um, we all had a good night, you know, we got together. Best part of it, we all got together. We went out in the town, had some drinks, you know. Um, but we'll be looking, I mean, we're always welcoming suggestions from everybody in the league to all the members. So we're looking to build on that too. Some of the guys in the league actually felt like you took it easy on him because he was your cousin-in-law. I mean, what would you say to something like that? Well, I would say that's, a, that's not true, first of all. I mean, to put it simple. I, um, I mean, I love George mm -hmm. and I think I uh, I did everything I could to. Um, I'm, I mean, to yes, I understand the, you did everything you know, that you. That I understand given. that you did everything you could, but 
really. I mean, there was other people in the past league that won the shy guy that actually suffered a severe consequence. And you came on, and you are the commissioner of the league. You allowed this man to come on and do a weak shy guy appearance. And you were completely okay with that. I mean, how are the other members of the league supposed to respect the shy guy when you do something so of just mind blowing? First of all, I love the passion. Okay. I love the passion from you and everybody who felt the way you did. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I think that we had a plan, right? Yes. We all agreed. On we a did all agree on a plan. Right? We agreed on a punishment for George. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. can I physically, can anyone physically coerce him to do anything? Like physically, can I make you? Can I take your arms? Can no. I make you do something? I understand that, but as the commissioner of you the know, league, I mean, you we can have only do the so much. power to sit there and say, look, either you're in the league or you're not in the league. Either you can go to the shy guy and commit to being the shy guy, because we all commit at the beginning of the season to be the shy guy, or you don't commit, and you're not the shy guy, and you're not in this league. That, that's true. You're absolutely right. We all commit So where to do you the... draw the line? I don't understand. Like, where do you draw the line between somebody who is the shy guy and is not the shy guy? I'll tell you this. He showed up, right? He put on the big T-shirt. He went out with us. Mm -hmm. He did. And everybody's personalities are different. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some people are more prone to, you know, let it all go and mm -hmm. you know don't care about getting embarrassed and things like that mm -hmm. everyone's different so he did it to the best of his ability and so where do you draw the line i, I just respect so, i respect so it. where do you say hey look this guy is doing the best of his ability he's not an outgoing person or do you sit here and do you say that hey look this guy is completely disrespecting the league by not participating in these activities that the league has deemed at the beginning of the season that we all agreed to. Where do you draw that line? Yeah. I think, I mean, there's a different punishment every year. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult to like draw a line, a black and white line and say, you know, either he's doing this or doing that. And, and that determines whether he respects the league and want, you know, is doing the shy guy the right way. Every punishment is different. Um, and some people think, you know, other punishments in the past have been worse. I think that he did enough to me just to not have, not to kick him out. You know what I mean? I'm not going to kick him out. He, he showed up. He, like I said, he put on the shirt. He did, started doing some of the, the, uh, the challenges that we had him do. You know, we, we tried as the best we could, all of us together. I mean, Commissioner, and you're looking a little nervous right now. I'm, I'm fine, Les. You do. I I'm mean, fine, you're Les. looking a little nervous right now because, <laughs> I mean, this is going to the point I'm, where people were talking about the Commissioner and his cousin-in-law were having some kind of agreement or understanding about what the punishment would be prior to the event. I don't, I don't think that that happened. You don't think? No, I don't, I don't think that that happened. You don't think? No. You don't think? No, I don't think that that happened. All right, so, okay, I'm not going to... When gonna I say I don't think, yeah. I mean, I don't think what they are describing happened. Like, I don't, I don't believe that that happened. Okay, People look, have different ways of defining things. Look, I'm not going to... Did we talk about what the punishment would be? Yes. Look. But did we... It's a new season. We have I, a new shot. going to take it easy on them? Okay. Not in the least bit, Let's Look. Look, we have a, this is a new season. We have a new shy guy coming up this year, okay? We don't know who's he going to be yet. We're actually in Hopefully the middle of our you. draft right now. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm just doing my job. I'm giving the league what they want. They want the hard questions. We need to figure out what's I'm, I'm going on right now. Just pulling your leg. That's, just pulling your leg. <laughs> you know what? You're okay. <laughs> All right. So what do you think about next year's shy guy punishment? What do you think? How do you think that should go? I mean, would, like doing it all what over if, again, would you make specific changes or would you just leave it up? I mean, would you talk about the side guy at the beginning? It's yeah. a different punishment. Okay. Changes to what? No, I understand. So would you talk about the side guy's punishment at the beginning of the would, season? Do you want me to bring out a so whips and chains and force the shy guy to do whatever we're required <laughs> to do? <laughs> Look, dude, I don't know what you do in your off time. Like, dude, all we do is play fantasy football together. Okay? <laughs>
I have no idea. Wrong, but what, wrong analogy, bro. Wrong analogy there. That's not what I meant. But um, no, but what I'm talking about is at the big. Would you discuss the shy guy punishment at the beginning of the season? Absolutely. So, I mean, if Absolutely. you had to do it, Ideally, if yeah, you had to do time. last season again about the Saigon punishment, would you change certain things? Ideally, I don't think it would have changed the outcome. All right. So, Commissioner, I'd like to thank you for your time. It's oh, great I'm glad to be here, man. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah, it's a great, it. it was a great interview. Glad to get into the mind of Danny Marte, the commissioner of our fantasy league. Okay. Nah, I love it. Yeah, I want to come back every year. This is great. You got the trophy here. Yeah. This is exciting. Yeah. I love great. what you're doing with this. Great. So, um, look, we're going to finish over the rest of the draft, and I don't think the guys want to hear you here for this. Okay. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, guys. Let's get back to this draft. All right. We're halfway through. Let's finish it on up. All right. So, next on our list is the real Lou. All right. The Lou Bull has become a time treasure. All right, so let's see how Lou is going to fare in this draft. Who you got, Lou? All right, Packers, Super Mitchell. All right, moving on along. We got Tom. Hey, one of the people that are part of the expansion of the league. All right, I'm not mad at that. Even though we, the whole league have voted against it, and he still got in, that's fine. I ain't even mad. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we got the Falcons, Pee Wee. All right, Dom, hopefully that works out for you. All right, we got Sammy. All right, so Sammy, uh, let's see who Sammy gets. All right. Sammy gets Jaguars varsity. All right. And we got Angel. All right. Now, Angel has also been a champion and a shy guy. So, Angel, hopefully this season works out for you. All right. We got the Chiefs midget. Finishing it right up. We got Danny. Commissioner. Commissioner Danny. All right. We got Saints Varsity. All right. Looks like we got two more names left in this bowl. We got Alex, last year's champion. All right, Alex. You got Panthers, Super Midget. Right. And last but not least, we got Tyler with the Saints, Super Midget. All right, guys. Well, that does it for the Less Is More show. All right. So we're going to go ahead and see you at the draft pick. All right, signing off. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Rooftop Fantasy Draft League. And this is the <laughs> Rooftop Fantasy Draft League? It's the red top, man. Yo. Rooftop, <laughs> fuck. Rooftop fuck. is hotel, right? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> rooftop. I said rooftop. Why are the niggas laughing? <laughs> This is the Lesson Moy Show, and fuck, all right. So first of all, we need to talk about our champion, Alex Diaz, and we need to go over Alex Delgado. Alex Delgado. Alex Delgado. I, dude, I know you did. I know you. Oh, dude, I want to congratulate Alex Diaz. Oh, Alex. Yo, okay, yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yo, you know what? Alex, bitch. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let me keep going or start over. Hey, you might not have your pants. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, 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 no. We got it. We got, we got, we got this, dude. And thank you to the champion, Alex Diaz. Dude, your season. Alex Delgado. Alex Delgado. Alex, Alex. Just Alex. Just Alex. 
just Alex, okay? Just Alex. Just one Alex, all right, just one Alex. You know, we have the Martes, we have the Delgados, we have everybody in this thing, all right? All right, all right. Let's recap last season. Alex Delgado, you are, the, you are last year's champion. Ooh, that's good too, yeah. All right, and we're also gonna talk about all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we talk about practice. No. This is what happens when I touch on it, okay? Yo, give me a shot, dude. Talk about this season. Fuck, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. All right, my bad. Look, in this bucket here, we have a couple of peewee football teams and a couple of um, midgets league. <laughs> right? It's so weak. But how many points is for it? Yeah. No, dude, it's, dude, let me, I, I was feeling it, all right? It was smooth, it was cool. I was gonna get to the recap. I was gonna get to the recap, but I was just gonna go to here and just do the recap. Dude, I was just feeling it. I'm going off the top of the dome. Let me just go, like, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude, let me just, let me just feel it, man. Yeah, man, dude, I can feel it. I can. But, um, no, I would never issue any preferential. <laughs>